Beautiful people from here, from there, and from everywhere. This is Ilesama. Hola, que tal gente bonita? De aquí, ella y de acuya. Aquí, Ilesama. 100 days to create art or 100 days to create? Sin, sin años. Okay, maybe, maybe sometimes 100 years. But anyway, 100 días para crear arte o 100 días para crear. That is the name of my project which started on April the 5th to July 13th. Un proyecto que inicié el 5 de abril y que concluiría el 13 de julio. But, as you can see, this is not going to be possible. However, I am very happy if I finish it sometime this year. That's for sure. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate that and I am very happy and very pleased that you have been here with me for a long, long, long time or even just a very short period of time. Pues muchísimas gracias a todos y cada uno de ustedes que se han inscrito a mi canal y que bueno han estado conmigo desde hace un buen titipuchal de años o apenas a lo mejor hace muy poquitito. Muchísimas gracias. Of course, also thank you to you if he, by a chance this happened to be your first time ever that you are here. Also, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Bueno, y por supuesto también a ti, a usted, que si por pura casualidad esta es su primera ocasión y eh, bueno, pues se lo agradezco y deseo que el contenido de mi canal pues eh, le guste y de alguna manera lo haga regresar o le haga permanecer conmigo. Even though, if you just stay for a short period or for a long time, I think either way is just very, very, very nice. Y bueno, aún así, aunque se quede por bastante tiempo, bueno, eso sería lo ideal, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. Pero si no, si nada más permanece conmigo unas cuantas horas, como ha ocurrido, o unos cuantos días, o un par de días, como sea, creo que es realmente extraordinario. So, today, this is going to be a, um, well, quite short time, because actually I supposed to be doing this a live video. I'm not sure if I am a live video or no. I don't even know if there's someone there or not. But anyway, that's it. I'm here. Is that, I guess this is what it is. Yo estoy aquí. Eh, usted está allá. Somewhere there. You are there. So, okay. This is the issue. I got this fabric about two years ago. And I did want to make something, but I wasn't sure what to make. I really, really, en realidad adquirí esta, esta pieza de tela, estas piezas de tela, que son tiras, they are um, like, a, how do we say in English? In English we'll say um, lines, oh, I don't know how you say tiras, you know, like a, a big, huge thing of ribbon, okay? This is a tira in Spanish, it's just a long piece of a fabric or or whatever but that is a tira so this is exactly what it is as you can see here are i don't know maybe eight inches probably no even eight maybe eight inches yeah well, just think about eight inches i don't have with me a, um no tengo conmigo una regla para medir pero quiero pensar que son aproximadamente 8, 8, 
8 pulgadas. Ok, let me see if you have a chance I get. Ok, yes, it's fine. So, this one. So, actually, um, they are, yes, 8, 8 inches. Yeah, I was right. Sí, son efectivamente cua, este, 8 pulgadas. Y bueno, y son tiras de, I don't know, maybe 2 feet. Probably 2 feet or 3 feet. But the point is este. Son unas, unas tiras que, que miden alrededor como de metro y medio probablemente o un metro, un metro y cachito. Y bueno, eh, son seis tiras. Vinieron todas, de hecho, vinieron unidas. They actually um, came kind of little bit stitched to each other. If you can see here, you know, here they are kind of stitched every 20 inches or something. They are stitched. When I even though I already wash it, I see if I'm gonna try to take this off. But anyway, this is my, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's. No, pero en realidad no importa eso. What I'm trying to say is that these ones are tighted on the well at the long side. On the long side, están amarradas o están este de alguna manera cosidas cada una a lo largo. Okay, and they are six six pieces so my idea is of course do three and three and this one they are all looking one way so my idea is make a jorongo un jorongo o un, o un este um, chal no uh, un jorongo ay cuál es la otra palabra what is the other word um, we call it jorongo we call it un um, Ay, 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 goodness, you see, I dislike very much when I, I, I knew it before, I wrote it down there, and now I am, um, confused, but anyway, uh, let me try to see if I can, if I can show you exactly what I'm trying to say, so, it will be something like this, so, it will be something like this, um, actually, this is, like, the way it is, It will be okay. I cannot see it. Okay, let's one try again. Okay, they are like this, and they are six pieces three for the front and three for the back. Right now, they are all facing this way. Okay, say they, they are, say the, is it, the design is like this. But the other side will be upside down. So I had to cut it here and put it in the proper way. So when I fold it like this, double, it will be all properly look instead of upside down, if it does. I mean, if you know what I'm trying to say. And then, once it's that, there I will like to, okay, so then I'm going to attach them here and sew them and stitch them. But actually, I do want to leave here open. And at the, at the beginning, uh, pensaba yo este, at the beginning I was thinking to, so all all the whole thing together. Al principio yo pensaba coserlas todas las tiras. But I decided not to, pero decidí no hacerlo así because I think it will be more fun if I leave open. So I just sew it every certain time, say, say a distance, say every eight inches. Digamos que lo voy a coser cada o este ocho pulgadas. And then when you put it on, so then we'll be here. Then here, here, and then when you put it on, um, you will have this kind of open, so you can see your blouse or a dress if you have a dress or a blouse or whatever color you are showing there. Um, yes, and also 
but this one here because let me tell you something porque en este caso permítame decirles algo de esta pieza de esta tela o de este textil que yo lo considero como un textil this one i bought it about two years ago and i believe they are african textiles and as a mexican and you know as a, a country in america well there's african american and as in mexico we have the um uh, african mexican so in a way this to me resemble because our cultures in a way um intertwain or in have a relation and the 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 textiles to me this one looks quite mexican and at the same time very african which this is originally african so then i said okay i'm going to do something mexican with this african beautiful textile but in order for me to make it a little bit more mexican i would like to add definite colors and make it african mexican okay or or yeah or african mexican america either way en este caso quiero hacer una una pieza que sea eh, pues eso precisamente con raíces africanas mexicanas americanas es una mezcla que que finalmente considero maravillosa i think it's a wonderful wonderful um mixing of cultures and then i will like to add this one you know like this so it will be a color in each one just for example entonces va a ser un color en cada uno de ellos definitivamente will be something like that but of course well let me see if i can we can put a lot of something like this maybe we can. so i can give you the idea what's going on or what is what i'm trying to to do eventually maybe i'm planning to do something like every two two times so every every one here and every twice there something like that and something like here let me see if I, I am able to do this okay so it will be something like that okay so um so if we have this one here we can say and then everything and goes like that and of course it's going to be lots of colors obviously because well we are talking about colors 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 so every one um i don't know if i have i think it should be why let me see i think they are like um, 30 or 33 different colors i need at least and all should be this side and of course i have this other piece i have this piece which i bought it i don't know quite a long time and i always said i want to use it i want to use it i'm going to use it well now that's it it's the time so i need to cut 30 33 or 36 pieces i have to make sure i don't know 100 how many pieces but yes and then interchange or intertwine the ribbon tengo que cortar unas 30 36 piezas aproximadamente del mismo tamaño y después entretejer el listón para que yo ya pueda formar todas y cada una de las tiras que voy a ir cosiendo bordando and i'm going to stitch by hand so this is a project that's going to take me i don't know how long but i hope i will be able to finish it sometime soon 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 and yes this is it así que con esta con esta detalle with this um idea and hopefully i'll be able to finish it sometime soon i will see you as soon as i can finish it well as soon as i finish it and for now till next time
Así que hasta la próxima. Besitos. Bye, bye.